Welcome to BSC Statistics students. In this lesson, I discuss paired t test for a difference of means. It is also a small sample test. All the t tests concerning t chi square f distributions test was all a small sample test regarding to the that is uh, related to the small sample test. So, if you consider what is the separate test? Already difference of means or equality of means we have uh, tested according to the t test. But what is this? It is paired. You see, remember it is the only the difference is paired t test for a difference of means. Uh, in the difference of means or equality of means, uh, equality of population means uh, we consider two different or distinct population. That is uh, for two different populations we have to consider two different samples and uh, going to be con and uh, the test is going to be conducted whereas here we have to consider one population recording to the one population characteristics a pair of observations are going to be observed x1 y1 x2 y2 for example and so on xn yn are n paired observations n paired n paired observations we have considered then which what is the meaning of this uh, of the same population characteristic we have considered two different readings for example uh, there are n students and uh, uh, a coaching was conducted before uh, uh, the coaching that a test was conducted test one so test one results are x1 x2 and, and so on xn x1 x2 and so on xn for same number of n students, uh, a test was conducted after coaching. The readings are, that is uh, the marks are y1, y2, yn. So now the, uh, to whether the test is effective or not, to test whether test is effective or not, examination is effective or not, we have to use this particular test. It is called paired t test for a difference of means. We have to calculate average of this, average of this and uh, so that uh, th this particular kind of test is going to be calculated, is going to be conducted. So that is uh, uh, whether the uh, coaching is effective or not in this example, whether the coaching is effective or not, we have to use this particular test. Similarly, for example, X1, X2 and so on Xn are the uh, readings of some particular patients. So some particular uh, uh, a drug is considered a new, new kind of drug, new medicine. Uh, which is applied to the um, patients. Before applying the uh, new drug, uh, these are the readings of some particular uh, disease. And after applying the uh, some particular uh, uh, drug, the new particular, uh, new newly uh, invented drug or a particular medicine, these are the readings. Now, uh, whether the medicine is effective or not, if you want to examine the whether the medicine is effective or not, effectively worked on the patients or not, uh, the, and then we have to use this particular pair t test for difference of means. That is, uh, uh, we have to observe the only the increment, increment or decrement also, because uh, uh, due to some particular uh, reasons, if the decrease observed, it is the most effective. For example, the BP. For example, BP, those here are the um, first group, the BP before applying the one particular drug of related to BP, the readings were noted for N patients and after applying the uh, some particular uh, BP uh, medicine uh, or uh, some particular uh, BP treatment, uh, these are the readings after applying after one month, after one month of applying every day after one month uh, regularly uh, one month uh, one month of in one month of period uh, they have applied some particular treatment and after that bp was noted then uh, their, their objective is bp is to be decreased okay to be in the under control which means uh, uh, for example bp here uh, the, the many fluctuations like uh, 150 to uh, 100 like that uh, the many fluctuations but it should be controlled by 120 to 120 by 80 like that uh, it should be under control that which means decrease is to be observed here 
from this from these readings to these uh, readings of uh, of the next uh, uh, time for next time if they want to observe the readings which must be decreased which must be under control that is uh, around the reading of 120 by 80 should be observed if it is observed that the medicine is effective it is not observed the medicine is not effective so like uh, whatever the treatment whether it is a uh, one kind of medicine is applied on different patients or some particular coaching is up uh, uh, coaching is uh, given to certain uh, group of students a class of students and then uh, whether if you want to test whether that coaching is effective or the medicine is effective then this kind of test is going to be used paired t test for difference of means here also two samples are going to be observed that is two sample of readings one is x1 x2 xn another one is y1 y2 yn but n1 is equal to n2 that is n that is a same number of student same students we are applying same uh, another test we are uh, conducting another test so same group of students we are uh, uh, conducting uh, uh, and we are applying another kind of medicine one kind of medicine before the medicine after the medicine are two types of medicines medicine one medicine two like that so this is what the want to for the purpose of comparison comparative studies whether coaching is effective whether increment is observed whether decrease decrement is going to be observed for for this this kind of this is the kind of test procedure is going to be used this is most useful uh, small sample test in laboratories in research works in conducting these kind of uh, uh, what what do you call uh, these kind of uh, uh, studies methodological studies these kinds of methodological studies is going to be very 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 useful this is very very useful right so therefore now i am formulating uh, uh, H naught. That is uh, the same kind of same group of students, same group of n individuals. Uh, we are uh, uh, taking two observations, x1 and y1. That is x i and y i. That is what uh, um, x1 y1 belongs to same individual. X2 y2 belongs to same individuals or same item or same particular uh, unit. X and y n are both readings are belong to same unit. That is what. Uh, 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 you have to uh, keep in your mind this is this is the one of the crucial point right the h naught now coming to the first part h naught null hypothesis null hypothesis always we consider mu1 is equal to mu2 that is uh, coaching is not effective if coaching is effective the students got should uh, should be improved if the treatment is effective on different patient on various patients then uh, either increment or decrement uh, uh, in any particular reading is going to be observed so therefore the uh, whatever the treatment or coaching we have given it is not effective that is uh, the results uh, after coaching and before coaching which are, which are all same there is no difference like that that is the reason why h naught is always mu1 is equal to mu2 that is uh, two population means are equal second one alternative hypothesis it must be either mu1 greater than mu2 or mu1 less than mu2 mu1 less than mu2 it means uh, second population regarding to second population the um, population mean is more than that is nothing but increment is observed increment there is an increase there is an increase in the after giving the coaching or after giving the uh, some particular uh, uh, tablet or medicine to the uh, some kind of treatment is given to the uh, patients that is uh, want to go to affect so it depends on some particular pattern again but of course in general i'm speaking right and mu1 greater than mu2 then it is nothing but it shows decrement whether which one is suitable to make the effective analysis that is going to be considered either increment or decrement right so therefore alternative hypothesis now it is you observe here in the pair t test for difference of means in the pair t test for difference of means uh, alternative hypothesis must be one tile test it is not equal to mu1 not equal to mu2 should not be considered it is not to be considered only either mu1 greater than mu2 or mu1 less than mu2 is going to be considered right so that is what alternative hypothesis and then uh, test statistic third point 
test statistic. The test statistic, uh, it is going to be considered again uh, for uh, uh, x bar minus y bar for which uh, I am considering we calculate di, the difference xi between uh, the same uh, readings of the same individuals or same unit, uh, ith unit for example. Uh, we have to consider for all the values of i, i is equal to 1, 2 and so on n. Now we have to calculate di, the difference, deviation or simply we can call in our statistic terminology. Uh, di is equal to xi minus yi. So then for which you have to calculate d bar. d bar. What is d bar? d bar is equal to 1 by n summation i is equal to 1 to n di. 1 by n summation di. And then s square is equal to s square which is a some particular kind of sample variance is going to be calculated for all di's. These di's that is 1 by n summation i is equal to 1 to n di minus d bar the whole square or uh, we can use another formula as 1 by n summation di square minus d bar whole square summation i is equal to 1 to n this is also another formula you can use and then uh, uh, now i consider test statistic the test statistic is going to be considered uh, based on the t distribution the t is equivalent to be d bar minus it is going to be calculated with the help of the x bar minus y bar so d bar minus uh, d bar is 1 by n summation di minus of mu 1 minus mu 2 and difference of uh, mm, means uh, we have to consider and s divided by small s that is square root of this s divided by square root of n minus 1 Based on the uh, one particular yes, we are calculating this. Based on one yes, we are calculating this. S by root n minus 1, which follows t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom is this. Right? So, degrees of freedom is n minus 1. So, this is what the test statistic. So, test statistic under H0. What is H0? H0 is mu1 is equal to mu2. If mu1 is equal to mu2, then t becomes t is equal to d bar by s by small s divided by square root of n minus 1 which follows t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom it is very very simple because mu1 is equal to mu2 therefore it is 0 mu1 minus mu2 becomes 0 t is equal to d bar by s by root n minus 1 the another formula also we have in capital s we know what is capital s yeah so t is equal to d bar by then s by square root of n where i'll, I'll tell you the formula it follows again t n minus 1 degrees of freedom do not change where the formula of capital s capital s is nothing but capital s square i write it is uh, 1 by n minus 1 summation i is equal to 1 to n di minus d bar the whole square the same formula with n minus 1 it is n with n 1 everywhere smallest square is equal to 1 by n minus n and capital S square is equal to 1 by n minus 1 summation d i minus d bar whole square, right? So, now the fourth part, comparison and conclusion. This is what test statistic. Now, I am going to the comparison and conclusion. What is comparison and conclusion? We have to consider modulus of t. What is modulus of t? It is a computed value. It is a computed value or calculated value. This is, that is this, d bar by s by root n minus 1 or d bar by capital S by root n and uh, we have to get the tabulated value of t that is significant value of t at alpha level of significance and n minus 1 degrees of freedom and uh, if it is if uh, calculated value is greater than tabulated value then h naught is going to be rejected h naught is going to be rejected otherwise that is if modulus of t if modulus of t is less than or equal to the significant value of t at alpha level of significance and n minus 1 degrees of freedom then h naught is going to be accepted so i uh, hope you understand this is what the comparison and conclusion and this is what the paired t test for a difference of means paired t test for difference of means this is one of the very very crucial test thank you thank you so much